Through our move to include reporting here on WXXI, we've seen how people with disabilities are capable of so much more than society gives them credit for. But we've also seen how too often people with disabilities are left out and overlooked. Well, tonight, let's learn about the Cobblestone Arts and Educational Center's Day Hab Without Walls program. They're dedicated to enriching the lives of people with disabilities by bringing them out into the community. Take a look. Day Hab Without Walls is a specific group of individuals that are in between coming from a more secluded Day Hab setting moving into the community with more inclusion. I started the Arts Center as a nonprofit in 1983. It has morphed into not only giving classes for the community, but has really concentrated uh, a lot on working with adults with other abilities. I wanted these individuals to be able to have an experience of creative outlet. I'm an artist. Those joys I get from looking at great art and theater and performing, I want to spread. And there was no reason why students with disabilities couldn't be allowed those same opportunities. I run the Day Hub Without Walls program. My role here at the center is to create experiences for our students that satisfy not only their artistic abilities, but also their community integration and recreational interests. A lot of the times they are arts, music, and dance focused, and then sometimes it's building different skills in the community like social skills and appropriate behavior skills, and then there's the recreational piece where I try to get them to experience different things. I like it a lot better than just regular classes because I used to do regular classes, but I got bored of regular classes a lot and I did not know what to do in those classes most of, some of the time. I like it better, there's more stuff to do. Uh, like you're out in the community all the, every day and I like to be out in the community. Yesterday we went to the Memorial Art Gallery. We were looking um, for neo-expressionism and the different pieces at the art gallery that represented that time period. We had a lovely docent and she took us along and she took us kind of on this trip through the development of that time period of art and the techniques and the different colors that were used. Today we paired our trip in the community to an actual art experience for the students. We had art with our art teacher and we created our own painting background to some drawings that they had drawn of themselves. So self-portrait drawings. We asked them to focus on a feeling when they were doing their drawings. Today was just the painting of the background, then we're going to superimpose the drawing onto the painting for our finished piece. It was pretty, pretty neat. I was thinking about all the different colors that was, all the different colors that were in some of those paintings and just making my own painting up sometimes too. They're getting to know their community, what is out there, what they love to do, so that they can, beyond here, they'll, they can see that and be part of it. They come here, they feel ownership of their own lives because they're not herded places. All of the students are part of the solution and they feel very valued. We can make such a difference by offering an alternative way for them to spend their days studying these arts to really just open them up as a person and we get to see beautiful things about them. For more information about the Day Hab Without Walls program, visit cobblestonearthcenter.com. This segment was produced as part of the Move to Include initiative with funding provided by the Golisano Foundation.